Well, I still have a mob on my capital, but I have mostly dealt with them. Mostly, but not entirely. No, um, I have the crime rate down to... Where's Hoth? Here's Hoth. I have crime rate down to 30%, and I'm assuming once I get it down a little bit more, which I need more housing... There, okay, now everybody should be happy. Well, once the luxury condos go up, and then... What size fleet do you think I should go at that uh, Star Devourer thing with? 60k. God said 100. <laughs> oh, I finally got coil guns in the year 23,000. Or 2300. Congratulations, you're slow. I've had literally no more getting it. <laughs> so annoying. Yeah, all my ships still have mass drivers, so my fleet power is way low.
have gotten Hoth back up to 84% stability. That is about the most impressive thing I've done so far. Hey, Under, are the cloud lightning things any good? Or do you not know what that is? Yeah, alright. The only thing is they're a large only, so... I'm building primarily Corvettes. And they're not too useful there's, to you. I was gonna say, is that no longer a valid tactic, the lots of little ships? Or is that still all... Uh, when I was in it, it still worked. Well, it just makes more sense because your damage output and your damage taken is spread out over such a large amount of object. Quantity. Well, that goes back to, I don't know if you ever heard of or played an old game. Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one has a... Um combat simulator but it's only six rounds they happen instantaneously and um, you can't manipulate the outcome anyway it's just a random number generator and there's multipliers and stuff like that but um, fodder is the best you know to have because then your capital ships can actually deal damage while your fodder gets you know all the hits so to speak I see yeah, so my fleets are five destroyers and a fuck ton of corvettes <laughs> with mass drivers. I'll have coil guns in two months. And the game was nice enough to give me real guns right away. So now I'm caught up in tech.
pockets. Also, I've noticed that hulls over shields is better. Is that uh, reasonable? One, not really, and I disagree that they would be. Shields, once your ships are out of combat, will restore to full pretty quickly. Repairs are, are costly and take a while. Oh, true. Repairs so, yes, there's are more of them. But unless you plan on losing those ships every time, it'll be more cost-effective to build shields. Yeah, well, in terms of speed, that's, that's where the big benefit is. You have more power for engines because you're not powering any shields. So you get more speed overall. I mean, I'm talking about a six speed difference between full shields and full um, armor. And that's that's also negative power too, so. Because I'm only up to cold fusion reactor and I need to get bigger, bigger things. Alright, I'll try out a um, shield design and see how much um, hull damage they actually take in terms... Because I guess with the swarm tactic, I don't really need to worry about survivability. I have to wait for the um, real guns to finish researching before I can implement that design anyway. There's no point in upgrading to coil and then half a year later upgrading to rail.
Yes. See you. Hey, Cece. Hello. Mm. I just woke up. Well, good morning to you. Mm. I only meant to take a nap. One good hour. Morning to you, laddies. You're not Irish. You're Finnish. No, I'm not. Well. I mean, they end in the same way. Good morning, fuckface. Is that better? Good morning, fuckface. Uh oh, my dad's yelling at the TV about news again. Hmm. Idiots are being idiots. The only problem is my TV doesn't talk back, so it gets boring after an hour or two. Well, he just asks questions like, why were they? And usually the TV actually doesn't answer. <laughs> or he'll just shout out like, you idiots. And sometimes he'll argue at the dishes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do too. Sometimes. Not all the time. It's when the TV starts to res respond, you gotta start worrying. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Okay, Forrest. Mm -hmm. You can murder me later. I can walk. Hevan Homenda. I mean, close enough that I understood it. <laughs> That's usually what it's so far. Uh. Heva Homenda. It's a fucking T and it's a D, actually. I don't know. There's How do you no pronounce D it? D or P in it. No, there's a T in it. But it no, sounds no, no. like a D. Well, it doesn't. It's it's T. It's t oh. Hoven Homenta. Google Hoven. said D. Hoven Homenta. It sounds like you're saying D. No. Da. Um, no, it, no, it's not fucking Russian, <laughs> Sissy. It says it, damn da. it. Da. You sound like you just said no, da. It's, it's, it's not da. It's da. Is that woman? To say under is there any benefit or negative of the uh, so and so's lay claim to one of your systems? Gives him a cause his belly. Oh, it's okay. All, it's declare all war on me. <laughs> <laughs> declare war on me, please. <laughs> oh God, I can't say that. Well then, don't. Ati Kasupa? You know Say what that means? Say again? Ati Kasupa. Yeah, under I have every single choke point has a star, whatever the big oh, thing star button. base is. What's motherfucker in Finnish? Oh, there's no dar direct um, translation for that. Oh, okay. I mean, there's a direct translation, but there's no alternative for that in Seoul. Yeah, it says Aite Kosepa. Nah, that, no, that's not right. <laughs> Of course, if I mean it's his head. <laughs> well, no, actually, according to, if I reverse it, finish for, to uh, English, it says mother asshole. No. Uh, I usually do that, I reverse it in Google. You do realize Google Translate isn't perfect, especially for swear words and uh, profanity, uh... right? 
You know it's not perfect. You just say it. it's close. Even other places say that it's actually pretty close, even though when it combines words, it's bad. But yeah, no, I know it's not perfect, but even other foreign countries suggest maybe using Google a little bit if you have no idea what the fuck we're saying. I mean, yeah, you use Google to get the general idea of the phrase yeah. or whatever you're trying to figure out. Yeah, yeah I, I've it's got better the Google than nothing, Translate app. It's not good. Yeah. Yeah, I got the Google Translate app, and um, there's a lot of uh, Puerto Ricans and Mexicans that like I meet at bars, and I understand some Spanish. But the Google Translate app has the live translate thing, and that actually works really well for general conversation. Like I said, when you get into slang and profanity, that's where it deviates a lot because it doesn't actually know every single slang. Puta. It knows that. <laughs> Puta, puta de madre, manicón. I mean, there's a lot of profanity that it knows. Era. I think that's one. Oh, how do you say good morning? I don't remember. In Spanish? Oh, yeah. Top of my head, though, I know for a fact. I speak Spanish. Como estas? How are you? Girl. Um, okay, 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 okay. Apparently, like, I've always prouded myself in a way for knowing since. Um, elementary school, how to speak Spanish, um, 1 through 10, just hearing it once from a fellow, well not a fellow, from, well, a Spanish speaking student, he was the only one in our school, he was the only one, he only said it once, and I knew it immediately, and it got attached to my brain, and I prided myself, and I said it, and they're like, that's not how you say it, and I'm just like, oh, you lie. I can say well, pretty much any number in Spanish. I almost I know all the prefixes and suffixes, so it's like uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, micha, des. Nueve. No, Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Nueve. No. No, Which no one's Nietzsche? See, I just remember, what was the number? That's, that's not a number in Spanish. Which one was that number? You said nine. Nine is Nueve. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince. No! That was one through fifteen. That's why I said no. Not that far. I can only learn through ten. <laughs> Well, once you get past 15, then it's just prefix, suffix, prefix, suffix. Then it's easy. Just like we have, you know, 21. Except for, for us, we have 17 instead of 10, 7. However, Japanese 1 through 20, I know. Actually, I could probably <laughs> do it all the way to the 100. No, I learned that when I was little, too. <laughs> Not from I'm anime. I'm joking. You guys I learned it from a anime. song. I it from anime. a song. I learned it from a song. Like, oh my gosh, it was really... Interesting. It doesn't even exist anymore, that's the thing. I mean, no, the song is still on YouTube, but like the channel, you can't find it anymore. And the channel used to be called GinkyJapan.net, and now it's like dead. What? 
Hmm? What's the channel called? Ginky Japan. And then also did like it also helped you out with other things. Say that one more time, so I'm 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 making sure I'm hearing it right. Kinkyjapan.net. G E N. Okay. I thought you were saying Kinky Japan. I'm like, I think we have different websites that we visit. <laughs> Just to learn Spanish. No, that one empire is starting to pull ahead a little bit under dark. They're no longer just exchanging uh, a couple of systems. He's got a little bit of a foothold in the middle of this guy's empire. I found it. It was easier to find it on Google than finding it on YouTube. For almost a whole 30 minutes. But how long ago was 27? Oh, 207. 200,000. No. What? Two hundred thousand seven. Twenty oh seven. Me, please. Too late. I fingered you. you to Thunder, I should change my name to no one to be trifled with and see how many people actually get that reference. Hey, I deleted it. You could try. DM you it. If I could find you. Where are you? Why aren't you on my message list? Pretty sure I sent you a message before. Mm hmm. Damn, you're all the way down there. You're just above under and under coffee. Oh, shit. I'll take a glance at that later. Yeah, take your time. I'm not saying you have to do it at this very instant. It's in your chat history. You have all the time in the world. It, it was for the... But, uh, what's 19 minus 7? 19 12. minus 7 is 12. Okay, 12 years ago was when I learned that. Let's see, and I'm 25, so... Yes. What, you said seven? Take care. What? What? You said seven. Uh, uh, I... Okay, huh? no, I'm lost as well, what, what are we talking about? How do I roll in D&D again? I forget. No, I'll, I'll just look at calculator. Slash R space. D twenty. I'm looking up a calculator on Google. Hello, Google, my old friend. Yes. yes. I've come to beg from you again. Thirteen. Thirteen years ago was when I learned a Japanese number. 1 through 20. And I could probably say all the way through 
Um, 99. Bye. But I don't have confidence in that. But to be honest though, Japan is weird. They have like two different languages in only Japan. You have like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like two, two different that's languages. it? They have two dialects? Well, three. I don't remember. Three, they have three. Wow, that's... See ya. Go to Mexico yeah, uh, in South Kanji, America. And then the third one I forgot the name of. I'm just like, why? Why can't you just have one? And they're I honestly all... don't even know how many dialects of Mexican there are. In Spanish, I should say. I mean, in Spain, there's like, what, two maybe under dark? Two or three? Uh, I, I, know of, I know of at least four. I mean, there's, there's your basic Spanish, which is like international Spanish. Then there's, um... Uh, Basque. There's Catalonian. Um, where's that one over by Basque? Yeah, I got it. Uh, uh, the name oh, I know. There's, there's another yeah. one over there. I can't think of the name for it though. Yeah. Um, and then down in down in uh, like so middle or Central America and South America. There's, I mean, there's a lot. There's, yeah. I mean, each each country each country basically has their own dialect. Like Puerto Rico has their own because um, they have like more of a Spanglish. They don't exactly have a Spanish or an English because Bangladesh. They're pretty um biased biased to both. Like they speak a lot of English down there and speak a lot of Spanish down there. Um, oh, yeah, and then back. like Mexico, Mexico, there's Amazing. like seven different dialects for like different regions. And um, then each of your you know states or countries, I guess you could call them that, um, have their own dialect, like Honduras, and so they all have their own, like, slang and stuff. It's so crazy.
assassins offer a money back guarantee, Shadow. Low on mana. Done, assassin. Another satisfied customer. It was Malachi who reached out. Working with piety. That sounds even stranger when I say it out loud. Before we walk this path, hello. Greetings. Journey well. Still I live. I am a cockroach. The little...
Low on mana. Such lovely material. Beauty shall prevail. Such lovely material. Someone so obsessed with looks, that wasn't a pretty death. I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. Do stop mumbling. Low on mana. I miss the days when there were video rental stores. I mean Blockbuster? It's no, not just Blockbuster. Oh, there was um there was one in my local snooks. They still exist. No, nowadays they're more like pawn stores. The only way you can really technically rent a movie is like that big red box thing. Oh, there's family like videos story. all over the place around here. Mm -hmm. Over here, a lot of them just like closed down, and now they're like two stores. Well, and then oh, they just closed, closed down. The one I, I used to go to this one a lot. It uh, it was inside of a grocery mall. 
It's almost by itself with like walls and shit. It didn't just have movies though. It had movies and also like PlayStation 2 games. Like for rent? Yeah, you could rent them. Yeah. For the first time when it was up and stuff, you could actually rent them. And you didn't have to return them until... Well, until you were ready, pretty much. <laughs> but then later on, everyone, like, it, like, became months and whatnot, so they're like, Okay, you can rent it for, like, seven days. Seven days, bring it back. <laughs> if you don't bring it back, you gotta pay for it. There was this one game that I just fell in love with. I didn't know what it was called. I just thought it was really pretty. It was really pretty. There was a boy. I already know what the game is now. Just so. There was. I remember there was a boy uh, with a freaking wrench in his hand, with like a old-fashioned clothing and stuff. Big ass. Hat. And there was a girl with red hair. She was a princess. And she looked like a knight and whatnot. In the story, in the beginning, there's a boy has to go to a festival or whatever. And it cuts back to the princess like a couple times to have her battling shit. But like, there's also like a huge dungeon in like the very beginning of the game where he has to fight the like leader of said uh circus thing oh he also has like this huge amulet that i think his like uncle or grandfather gives to him and it's like ooh, that that looks familiar we, we want that big red thing um found out later because i was asking really desperately to a whole bunch of people like recently too like i would say maybe last year or two years because to this day to that day i still had no idea what the game was called <clears throat> and uh, it was Dark Cloud 2. Now I have it on my PlayStation 4. I can play it whenever I want. the point Malachi death is the only thing that gives life any meaning you have slain the nightmare I thought you were going to teach us how to spy took a shadow. Oh, great. It's a vinegar soaked dick. I was right to. It's pickering. Excuse my voice, I've been at home all day, sleeping, 
and playing video games and sleeping. So, uh, trash. Probably should have gone to work, but that's fine. I'll be okay. we use must be fresh.
for freedom. <coughs> I want to play a fucking uh a freaking um what is it called? Remember. We One more time? Some time ago. I want to play this uh freaking baseball course. And um, apparently I was so shit that they gave me pocket tissues as a reward. That's hilarious. Very tall. And that's why I'm gonna try it again but harder.